I remember my grandfather's house. A big red brick house it was, up on the Cabra Road. I remember the dining room and the living room, and the white folding doors that was between them. The huge marble mantelpieces. The same huge to me anyway, and me only a chiseler. With the strange old ornaments, the candlesticks and the two big clocks, one in each room, that used to chime the hours. Thinking of the rich chime, I can just picture in me mind's eye being in the hallway, listening to the clocks sounding the hours, in the strange sort of quiet of that house, with only the faint sound of the city traffic outside. There was quiet in that house, a sort of a peaceful hush, sort of like in a church. It was the house where an old man lived. Often the house was cheery and full of light when we went there on a winter's evening round Christmas. And there'd be the smell of me aunt's bacon or a warm fire in the heart. Oh, you had to be on your best behaviour visiting. And then I'd get a shilling from Grandpa or half a crown when I was older. In the drawing room was the old piano and I remembered it well. It was a bloody big heavy mahogany yoke like they used to make with candle holders at either end and a music stand in the shape of a lyre that lifted up when you opened the lid. But it was the sound of it that I remember the most. Deep and dark and black, black like death itself. Us young kids used to try playing tunes on it every time we were there. We never remember anybody else being in the house that could play the bloody thing. But there it stood nonetheless, unplayed and always a bit out of tune, like something that had, had, that had a right to be there, standing in any respectable drawing room worthy of the name, and the black sound of it. I wonder what it would have been like if somebody played it. I remember the French windows in the dining room it used to be open during the summer, and there was roses outside. I never bothered much with the look of the roses, but I loved the big apple tree at the end of the garden. I think when I was a little child there used to be green apples on it, and me aunt used to make apple tarts with them. But the tree got old, and it didn't give apples any more, though I think it still had leaves on it during the summer, so it wasn't dead. Still and all, the way I remember it, the way it must have looked during the winter. Bare branches but not a leaf in sight and the whole thing looking like it was black and dead, like as if it had been blasted by lightning. 